Okay, you don't want it to just sit in there. So today we did a walking blood bank training and a whole blood transfusion class on how to process blood and give it to a patient on the battlefield. I still got more coming in. My name is Sergeant Barbara Allen. I'm a medic with 27 Cav, 3rd Brigade, 1st Cavalry Division. In order to get frozen blood products out to a patient on the battlefield, it takes about 24 hours to get it out the door. So when you're talking about mass casualties coming in, we need more blood faster. So being able to use our guys that aren't out pushing out on the line, rucking around, being able to get those patients that fresh whole blood immediately is life-saving. So first of all, we use the Eldon card in order to be able to type in screen for blood type. So whether they're A, B, O, or AB, and then their RH type, whether they're a negative or positive blood type. First, we find our site. So we put our constricting band on. We clean the area that we deem is appropriate for the blood transfusion to happen. Um, we'll clamp off the bag since it's vacuum sealed. Stick the needle into the vein. Once we get a good return of blood flow, we'll let the bag fill up. Once we have the blood out of our donor into the transfusion bag, we're going to clamp it off, put in a new IV tubing into our patient, and then spike the bag just like an IV bag and run it just like you would see in a hospital. If we can get them blood within the first 13 minutes, their uh, chance of survival is above 80%. 80% better than what it would be if we didn't have blood. I've taught two classes so far for the walking blood bank. From here, what we want to do is be able to type all of our battalions and teach all of the medics across the brigade how to be able to do this in that case of emergency.